Hello and welcome back to Let's Code Physics. We had a lot of fun last episode uh, kicking some footballs, trying to make uh, the extra point. Um, this time we're taking a look at making soccer goals. Um, so I've gone ahead and set up a uh, soccer goal here, the, the front frame for it. We're not going to worry about modeling the net in the back because I don't think that has anything to do with the actual rules. I think that's just a convenience. Uh, soccer players, please let me know if I'm incorrect about that. Um, so just like before, we are going to be picking a distance from the soccer goal and we're going to be uh, picking a speed and then we're going to be looking at what the range of angles is that you can uh, successfully make a goal um, to try to get an idea of you know how much room for error you have during the kick. Um, let me show you the numbers that I'm working with right now. Um, our distance between the kicker and the wall is currently 11 meters. Um, so soccer field is 110 meters long. Um, so this is uh, this is 10% of the length, basically. And that's about the distance for a penalty kick. Uh, for a penalty kick, the distance is like 10.97 or something like that. So we're just going to round it to 11 for simplicity's sake. Um, here I've got my uh, stop bars created for the goal. Um, and yes, they are, they're all the regulation height and width and everything. And then I've got my invisible wall behind it. Um, so that the uh, soccer balls don't sail, uh, you know, past the point where we don't care about them anymore. Um, I looked up some information. Uh, the, the first information I found said that the maximum ball speed is around 80 miles per hour. So that's uh, just under 36 meters per second. Um, I then found uh, this other paper um, that was uh, measuring angles and speeds. And their average speed looked like, where was this? Um, shutter speed, no. Uh, well, I had it just a second ago. Their speed was about 24 meters per second. Um, somewhere in here, shutter speed. Okay, maybe it didn't have the word speed. Oh, there we go, velocity. There, I should have searched for velocity. Yeah, so theirs had a mean velocity of uh, 24.3 meters per second, you know, plus or minus 2.4. So we'll just round that to 24 for our first go around. Um, so we'll take that as an average, which is a little bit more than half the maximum. So that seems pretty reasonable. Um, when I first looked up soccer ball launch angles, it was coming up with 20 to 30, excuse me, 20 to 60 degrees. As you can tell from the results here, uh, this is working more up to uh, just about 10 degrees um, so I think that was a confusion I think that was the approach angle so approach angle is a different thing that's where say the ball is resting on the ground here uh, the player doesn't run up straight to the ball typically they typically approach it at an angle hence the reason it's called the approach angle. Um, and that is supposed to help them get, you know, some greater force in their swing. It's supposed to help them, you know, maybe curve the ball, stuff like that. They clarify that here in this wonderful paper by um, author names Skur and Hall. So thank you, uh, Skur and Hall, for your contribution to today's video. Um, I will be sure to include a link to this in the notes. In fact, I'm going to copy and paste that into my draft notes now. I've learned that if I sort of take little notes as I record the video, um, including when my cuts are, I'm more likely to remember the cuts and remember all the little notes to myself and things like that. Um, okay, so uh, so that's the information we're working with right now. Uh, we're starting at an angle of 0.01. Um, that's my way of avoiding having a zero. It should be well behaved if I have a zero, but I haven't really tested that yet. Okay, yeah, it does. It is well behaved for zero. It just gives a little blip right there. Okay, so we'll start with zero for real. Um, and we're going just like we did last time in increments of 2.5. That seemed to work well last time. It seems to be working fine this time. So we've got one, two, three, and then almost four. I'm going to go ahead and count this one just for the sake of ease. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so this would be 5 and then 10. So we're going from, well, I guess 0 doesn't make it now, does it? Uh, 2.5 makes it. Uh, so I guess I do need to find the actual minimum there. Why don't we try 1 degree? So we'll go from 1 up till, uh, I guess that'll be 11. Okay, 1 degree works. 
Okay, yeah, let's put that as 1 to 10. How about that? Uh, for our record, so I've got the same kind of spreadsheet here. Here's my kicking speed. Here's my distance to the uh, goal. So we're going from 1 to 10. So we've got a difference of about 9 there. Cool. Um, and so we're going to assume that the ball is is going straight this way. Uh, the, the approach angle that I talked about earlier, um, that's a good reason for us to add in a second angle to our projectile motion, a, a planar angle that goes around in the, well, in this case, the, uh, the XZ plane. Oh, excuse me. I guess that would be the polar angle in the usual spherical coordinate terms. Uh, either way, if we add in a second angle, we can get the projectile shooting off this way and this way and uh, that way we'll have an idea of the both um, windows of error that you have when kicking both the uh, angle you kick up with and the angle you kick side to side with so that's motivation for us to move into three-dimensional projectile motion next time that'll be exciting uh, boy that'll be really interesting if we uh, if we add in a um, if we add in a curve to the ball, uh, we could we could try to model the ball curving. That would be fun. Okay, um, then let's leave this at zero. Well, should I leave it? Yeah, let's leave it at zero for right now. Uh, actually, let's leave it at zero. Uh, I might kick myself for this, but let's um, let's 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 make the delta angle one so we can get that one angle in. Um, so let's try a few different speeds here. Um, let's try dropping down to and see what we get. Okay, so one degree, make it. Oh, actually, I guess if I started at one, that one degree did not, did that one degree make it? I, I don't think it matters all that much. Um, I forgot to check whether there was a zero right there. Oh, look at that. We have one that just clipped the top of the soccer goal. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so let's see. So there we've got one degree, two degrees does not make it. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna still count that 10, uh, just because like you could kick up to just about 10. So that's, yeah, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, excuse me, this is one, two. I need to learn how to count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, almost 11. Okay, so let's go from, or 20, we're gonna go from three till about 11. So our window has decreased just a little bit by a single degree. So that's that's not a whole lot, but the window has shifted, right? So we've gone from one degree being fine to needing three degrees. And we've gone from 10 degrees being not really okay to 10 degrees being fine. Um, let's see, let's go to the other end. So we went down by four. Let's go up by four from 24. So let's go up to 28 this time. Uh, let's see what this gives us. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so one degree does not work. Two degrees is fine, right? We're going faster, so a lower degree is fine. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just gets under. So we've gone from two to ten now. Two to ten. So we get another decrease there. Hmm. So let's see. So if I were to sort these. I think I can just do that. Yeah, yeah, that works. I, I think the default is, is to sort by the left. Um, so if we do that, we see we actually get a nice um, maximum window of error at 24. Now, maximum meaning it's nine instead of eight or eight. Um, so that's not, I mean, you know, so it's nice to get a maximum, but when your maximum is not that much different from the rest, it means that it's pretty much flat. Um, this is also is remaining pretty much flat. This is basically is where the significant change is taking place, is what the minimum angle is. Um, let's let's push this thing up to the extreme. So the maximum ball speed is about 80. Uh, let's make that a 35 meters per second, uh, almost equivalent to 80 miles an hour. And let's watch the soccer balls fly. Okay, cool. So we've got a. We miss it one degree, that makes sense. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is, has somehow sailed through the, uh, the goal. I, I suspect that's a line draw error or something. So either way, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and count ten. So we've got for 35, we've got two to ten. 
So there's basically no difference between kicking it at 28 meters per second and kicking it at 35 meters per second, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's that's good to know. If I were a soccer player, I think I would want to know that. Now, of course, that's assuming you're 11 meters from the goal. That assumes you're making a penalty kick. What if we um, up that to 20? So let's say we have 20 meters to the goal. Uh, let's see what kind of difference we get. Let's try these same speeds that we had before, and we'll take the difference equation, our calculation here, and just copy that down. So let's go back down to 20 meters per second. Okay, so we are farther away, so the shallow, we're going to take a hit in the shallower angles. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, so this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go ahead and count 11. So we go from 3 to 11. Um, I wonder if two and a half would make it. I mean, that three is pretty low. Oh, you know what else I haven't done? I have not made the ball itself the appropriate size for a soccer ball, because that is going to have a an impact, no pun intended, on uh, when it hits the ground. Um, so that might be something to, to, I tell you what, I will look that up for the 3D video and we'll make corrections there. So we go from three, let's go ahead and count that 11 just so we've got the, the range. So we get 3 to 11 for 20, just like we had at 11 meters to go. That's interesting. Uh, let's change our speed to the average uh, kicking of 24. Okay, so our 2 degrees makes it now. Um, let's see. So we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let's go ahead and call that 10 and a half. So let's go 2 to ten and a half here and then we'll uh, let's see so am I seeing any uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot difference there uh, a whole lot of difference uh, let's go to 28 and our two degrees makes it without a problem so we've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, that ten is barely making it under Let's go 2 to 10, and then finally, let's go to our maximum speed of 35. All right, 2 degrees makes it in just fine. So we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, let's count the 10, sure. So we're going 2 to 10 there. 2 till 10. Okay, so going from 11 meters to goal to 20 meters to the goal doesn't make too big a difference. Um, everything remains the same except for the 24, ironically the average one, goes from 9 degrees to 8.5 degrees. So going from 11 meters to 20 meters, you lose half a degree of opportunity to make the kick. So that's, that's good to know. Okay, let's try incrementing out one more time and then I want to take this thing to an extreme. Let's go 30 meters out from the goal. Um, let's see, we'll keep our our, our kicking speed at 24, um, we will change our distance to the kicker to 30, and let's see what, let's see whether this uh, affects the window any. Okay, so we, we miss it one degree, we miss it two degrees, three degrees barely makes it. And here's where it gets interesting, right? So we've got three four, five, six, and not quite seven. So we go from three to six and a half at 24. Let's copy down our difference calculation. <clears throat> so when you go from 20 to 30, you take a pretty significant hit to the window. You go from being pretty consistently eight, eight and a half, maybe even nine, down to three and a half degrees of window um, for, for making the goal. So going from 20 to 30 seems to be uh, where the key transition happens. For our last one for today, because I know we're, we're getting close to the end of episode time here, uh, let's go to all the way to the other side of the field. I want to see what happens if we try to kick this thing from all the way over on the other side of the field. So we're going to make this um, distance to the kicker 110. Let's keep our average kicking speed at 24 and then we'll increase that to whatever it needs to be to make a goal from the opposite side of the soccer field. This is of course assuming there's nobody there to get in the way of your goal.
All right, that is, my, that is far out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, does it make it seven, ooh, seven degrees? Did seven degrees make it? Seven degrees made it. And eight degrees does not. Eight degrees barely makes it, so you go from seven to eight for this one. Seven to eight. Copy down our distance, or difference formula. So if you kick it from the other side of the field at an average kicking speed, you've got a one degree window of opportunity to make that goal. And now, of course, this wouldn't be extreme without taking it to the very extreme. Let's up this to the maximum speed, 80 miles per hour. I'm gonna bump this up to 35 meters per second. In fact, you know what? Let's even exceed the maximum. Let's go with 36 meters per second, just because it is 35 and some change. So we'll round up. Let's assume there's a new world record for kicking speed. Pew. I got zero, one, two, three. Four makes, oh, four does not make it. Oh my. Uh, let's see, let's try to zoom in here. So that was uh, one, two, three to four now. Let's go ahead and, oh gosh, that's, that four is sailing overhead. Uh, but the three is a little bit in the middle. So let's call it two and a half to three and a half. Does that seem fair? So you got two and a half to three and a half. So what I'm observing here, and this is not conclusive because we haven't gotten a whole lot of data points, but it sure does seem like the window doesn't vary much with the speed. And I think that's because these angles are so shallow, um, you know, you're not deviating, you're, you're not getting a whole lot of curvature to the kick, which I suppose is what you want, right? You don't want to have to be doing, um, you know, parabolic guessing in your head. Um, so this is pretty cool. We've seen that it, it we've seen that the, the, the window of opportunity you have doesn't vary all that much with speed. It's it primarily deals with um, deals with the distance. Oh, although I suppose I, I suppose I need to amend that. The width of the window doesn't vary much with speed, but the actual window itself does. As this went from seven to eight to two and a half to three and a half. So yes, so I need to amend that statement. I need to be careful with what I say because apparently physicists on Reddit will get quite uppity if I say something incorrectly. Um, not that I blame them. I get uppity when when people say things incorrectly. The window itself moves, but the size of the window is not all that different. It probably is, you know, it's probably basically um, the angle that's made going, where am I, where's my goal? There we go. It's probably a matter of the window that's made going from this point to the sort of bottom here and from this point to the top of the goal post is probably what that mostly amounts to. Um, so that is pretty cool. Uh, that's good to know. So the angle will change based on the speed, but the window of opportunity is basically fixed by the distance to the goal. And if you want to make a soccer goal from across the field and there's nobody there getting in the way, uh, the, these are the speeds and the angles that you want to try with. So um, if you'd like to try some scenarios, as usual, this code is available in the description below. Would love to see your scenarios that you try. Um, looking forward to next time when we uh, change this up to 3D and start taking a look at that approach angle. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.